Now it's time for your 420 Radio News for Friday, August 9th, 2013. I'm Russ Belville. U.S. defense lawyers to seek access to DEA hidden intelligence evidence. This from Reuters.com. Civil defense lawyers are challenging a U.S. government practice of hiding the tips that led to some drug investigations, information that lawyers say is essential to fair trials in U.S. courts. The practice of creating an alternative investigative trail to hide how a case began, what federal agents called parallel construction, has never been thoroughly tested in court, lawyers and law professors said in interviews this week. Kenneth Bailey, who defends drug cases in Sandusky, Ohio, said his firm was drafting new motions in light of the documents made public by Reuters. Quote, evidence which could prove my client's innocence is being intentionally concealed, end quote, Bailey said. The Justice Department is reviewing the practice of parallel construction, and two high-profile Republican congressmen have raised questions about it. The U.S. Supreme Court, for example, has ruled that police may stop a vehicle For any traffic offense, even if that offense was minor and police had a different motive for detaining the motorist, such as a tip. The Sorry for the delay there, folks. Had a disconnection in our internet. We return you now to the news. High demand. First marijuana clinic opens in Chicago from cbschicago.com. Less than a week since it was signed into law, the state's first medical marijuana clinic has opened its doors, and already the demand is high. CBS 2's Chris Martinez reports that the clinic in Wicker Park has received over 1,000 calls since Governor Quinn signed the law last Thursday, creating the clinics that allow people to get prescriptions for marijuana. Marijuana won't be handed out there, only prescriptions, and only if a patient's illness is one of the 35 covered by the new law. The law will allow registered patients to obtain up to 2.5 ounces of medical marijuana every two weeks from a dispensary that the patient specifies during the application's process. Armed robbers take jars of medical marijuana from San Francisco dispensary from CBS in San Francisco. Twenty jars of medical marijuana were taken in an armed robbery in San Francisco's Mission District on Thursday, according to police. A medical marijuana dispensary in the 2500 block of Mission Street opened around 10 a.m., which is when two suspects entered the business, police said. The suspects pointed handguns at four employees, including a 54-year-old man, and instructed them to lie on the ground. The suspects then took 20 jars of product and then fled to a car parked about three blocks away, police said. They drove off in a black four-door sedan and still remain at large. (music) 
This has been your 420 Radio News for Friday, August 9th, 2013. I'm Russ Belville. When we come back, we go behind the headlines on a local story of great interest to those of us in this home. The Manatee County Sheriff's Department is being investigated by the DEA, the same sheriffs that raided Bob and Kathy Jordan. I'll tell you why when we come back. You're listening to the Russ Belville Show on 420radio.org.